What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, we are going to attempt to tame the beast. And by the beast, I mean Blue over here. Now, for the longest time, I've been working with Blue to kind of, you know, tame him down. But lately, he's been really nippy, as you can see my finger here. Oh, oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, yep, yeah, he's trying to go at it again. But you can see my finger, oh my god, jeez Louise, oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> You can see he's a complete psychopath like my finger here like I was trying to show you has a nasty bite from Blue and what I've decided to do was actually try to tame him down by maybe offering him some Hornworms and just interacting with him a little bit more and being peaceful around him But clearly so you could see he's now hiding and doesn't want to be a part of this video So I'm gonna try to go grab him and try to bring him back here. Oh my god. Okay. Dude. Okay, dude I'm gonna put you down calm down. It's okay. All right, blue look I'm trying to be your friend here All right, you gave me a nasty bite the other time and I am just trying to hear you know I'm just trying to make amends and just be friends all right oh that kind of rhymed i i feel like i feel like eminem i'm a phenomenon okay <laughs> but what i got here is a hornworm and i oh okay yep uh blue almost ate it all right you don't gotta be so aggressive with it but this happens to be um you know my bearded dragon's favorites as you could see he's just enjoying that but like i mentioned earlier he is pretty feisty and he's just always angry and these hornworms even though they are his favorite he always tends to not want to eat them if i am around and trying to offering it to him so what i try to do from time to time is go up to him and pretty much give him a hornworm and take him outside of his enclosure that way he's a little bit more um willing to take it out of my hand oftentimes i'll feed him inside of his enclosure and pretty much just let him be but you know, when it comes to a aggressive and mean bearded dragon like this guy, you do have to take them out and kind of give them that one-on-one -on -one time to just see how they would react. And unfortunately, sometimes they will bite. So, Blue, I hope you, you enjoy that hornworm. Like, you're literally holding it like it's some sort of... Um, uh, how could I say this? How could I say this? You're kind of holding it like it's a... Uh, <laughs> You guys know what I mean, but look at that. Okay, so another one of my bearded dragons that is also a little bit of a psychopath happens to be Loki here. Um, he's kind of become a channel favorite. Don't let Wilbur um, hear this, but pretty much Loki here, he's pretty young. And because he's young, he has an attitude where he would just try to attack everything and bite everything. And he's just super ow, active and healthy, but as you can see... <laughs> He always tries to go after my finger like, dude, the hornworms are huge. Why do you have to bite my finger? And I mean, it doesn't help that I try to hand feed him all the time. But this is what I mean by, you know, a little bit crazy here. He will literally try to bite me all the time. Okay, here you go, Loki. And more of the reason why I've been feeding most of the male bearded dragons is because I feel like I haven't been giving them much attention. Um, and at the same time, because Loki is growing as well as blue and even Wilbur they're still pretty young I do like to give them their hornworms from time to time um, and make sure that they are eating and staying well hydrated um, and have enough nutrients as well where the girls have been getting spoiled a lot so isn't that so ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so lately I've just been hanging around with the males because so you can see they are just crazy and the girls are just like sweethearts they don't bite they don't do anything the my male bearded dragons are just psychopaths and i feel like i have been you know not interacting with them as much as i should be um even though i do take them out pretty often but they just go crazy which i don't like getting bit all the time so i always just kind of you know let them be but you know lately i've been pretty good at hanging out with them isn't that so see he only bit me once today so now we got Charizard, and I'm not gonna lie, I love Charizard's coloration. So you could see, like he has this like deep red to him, and right now he's kind of freaking out because he probably sees the other bearded dragons in the back. And these hornworms might be a little bit big. I did make them extra thick, so hopefully it's not too big for him. Oh my god, dude, that is massive. 
just gonna give him the one because I don't want him later on puking. But holy snap, dude, that was as long as your body. Like, how is that gonna fit? Like, look at that. Holy, you really, really enjoyed it. Luckily, they're just full of nutrients and, um, you know, it has no hard, um, you know, shell over it. So he'll be able to digest that properly and just like, you know, be happy with it. But holy, dude, you, you took that down really, really fast. Okay, I've seen Wilbur just like eyeballing the hornworms. Look at him. Wilbur, Wilbur, calm, dude, calm down. You're going to get one. Look, oh my God, you crazy boy. Look, you're gonna get one right here. It's right beside you. Look, see? Oh, 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 okay, okay. You don't gotta be so aggressive with it. Calm down. Oh my God, this guy's crazy. Uh, he is going into a shed, as you can see his face. Oh, I squirted all over the camera, dude. Why you gotta be like that? But he is going into a shed. That's why he's a little bit extra spicy today. But um, Wilbur here, he loves the hornworms. It's probably one of his favorites. But sometimes he doesn't like them, but lately he's really been feeling them. There you go. Oh, 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 yeah, that one was juicy. Holy. And as you notice, like these hornworms are massive. And the way that I get them this big, they actually make this powder that you just add a little bit of warm water and it pretty much makes their own food. And I would just feed them that for a couple of days because when you get them from the pet shop, they're not pretty big, they're pretty small. Um, this way they get nice and plump and they're full of nutrients and you know water uh, these guys will actually if I let them be turn into um, a cocoon and then they will turn into a moth uh, that's why this guy isn't moving as much he's pretty much going into that phase of turning into a moth um, so either I let that happen or I feed it to my bearded dragons but as you could see these guys just love these guys <laughs> so if any of you guys out there purchase hornworms but want them to be nice and plump make sure that you get that powder and pretty much it's like making it i'm pretty sure it's made by rapashi but it's pretty much like making a rapashi mix for your geckos but it is mainly for hornworms all right so now we got saturn here and oh my god saturn okay he just went straight for it but <laughs> oh my god dude dude you just ripped it right apart holy this guy was hungry but Saturn here, he's probably one of my more sweetest uh, male bearded dragons. He's also the more oldest one I think I have. Um, he's just a sweetheart. He doesn't really, you know, bite. He doesn't head bob as much. He's just pretty chill for the most part. Um, but he definitely always has an appetite, as you can see. Oh, okay, dude. Oh, 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 whoa. Yeah, he really enjoyed that. But hornworms, as you can see, they tend to be a bearded dragon's favorite. Um, no matter how aggressive, how, you know, spicy a bearded dragon can be, it will always, you know, take a hornworm <laughs> and pretty much eat it. But I pretty much wanted to make this video to kind of just interact with my bearded dragons. Like I said, lately I've been trying to interact more with my male bearded dragons because, you know, I noticed that, you know, the older they get, the more crazier they are. My female bearded dragons, they, you know, they some of them can be spicy, but they will never try to bite you, but blue, and Loki, they always go after the fingers and that's something that I wanna start, um, you know, calming down a bit cause I, I don't like getting bit, like that actually hurt. Like that bite right there that I got last week is still hurting for, uh, to this day. So I definitely don't wanna get bit by a bearded dragon, isn't that so? Do not bite me, dude. As you can see, he, he knows what a finger is, see? Oh, I thought he was gonna bite me. <laughs> but hopefully you enjoyed this video and hanging out with me and my bearded dragons. If you would like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe as I'm gonna be posting more videos. I'm currently working on a pretty funny video that I'm gonna be releasing hopefully sometime this week, if not over the weekend. So hopefully you guys stay posted for that one. Um, I've been really working hard on that video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. But with that being said, that is it for today's video. I'm Lord Alliance. This right here is my bearded dragon Saturn. Keep the blood pumping and I'll see you guys in my next video. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Don't bite my finger, please. You gonna give me a lick? No? You're just gonna give them the side eye? <laughs> okay. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit, hit.